Hello and welcome back to day two of our tutorial on how to make these vessels. Now the next thing I need to do, having done all my decoration, which I have done here, so I've got some little felty hearts and little circles embroidered on. I've got my spiral that I said I was going to do, buttons, some embroidered flowers. Um, you can do whatever you want to do on yours. Uh, hopefully you've got to this point now. And what we need to do is to get some felt that matches and I have got this beautiful as I did in my other one I've got this beautiful green that matches and so what you need to do really simple lay your piece on measure out the felt and cut it exactly the same size as your piece and what we're going to do then um, I'm going to use this um, Maxi Sweet Treat because it's a nice um, thread to use for this. I'm going to clip those two pieces together so the felt is going to be clipped to my piece all the way around and then I am going to backstitch all the way around my piece so that we've got those pieces joined together. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Just nod in the right places. <laughs> so I'm going to cut that out now and then I'm going to go and backstitch. Oh, backstitch. What am I talking about? I'm not going to backstitch. I'm going to um, blanket stitch. That's the word I was going to use. So blanket stitch as this one was blanket stitch on all edges to attach that felt piece. Um, it's really just a, a case of sitting down and putting on an audio book or um, podcast or some music and just working your way through and very calmly doing a little bit of blanket stitch. And that's what I'm going to do now. OK, so now I have a blanket stitched all around my piece. I've kind of clipped it vaguely as to where I want it to be. And I might have to just kind of vaguely pin that bit and I'm just checking to see if it fits in this base and it does so that's perfect um, this is one of the Fiskars cutting guards and guides and I've kind of used this as a, a template as such to to guide how how to do this next bit so the next bit you need to do is to make your base and you will need two circles in this size. So two circles in that size, or is it this size? Maybe it's, the, no, it's definitely that one. Two circles in that size or whatever size you're doing. So if you're using a pot, you could be using something, say, like this pot as a guideline. I think this will actually go over there. Yeah, look, that's perfect. You know, just find something that, that gets the size of the pot that you need for what you've measured out. Um, a tin. And then the base of the tin, you would need to cut two of the circles of fabric out from your felt. And then you need a smaller part of this stiffer felt. This is kind of like a stiff felt and you could use an interfacing or some kind of a stiffener and that's just going to go in between the two pieces of felt. So to start off with let me roll out my fabric. So I'm going to do two of these. I've got my trusty marker pen. I'm going to do one and two. Make sure it's on the fabric. Kind of helps. Okay, so I'm going to cut those out. I found a smaller size. Now, if you're doing it with from a tin, you're just going to have to eyeball this. It doesn't really matter as long as it's smaller so that it will fit within your other two circles. I'm just going to cut those out now and then I'll show you how they go together. So I've cut my pieces out. I'm just going to grab a little of my Aline's felt and foam tacky glue. Just going to put a little bit on this base bit here. This is just to hold that in place. 
like so and then put the other one on top like that you can actually glue that one on as well it's not gonna hurt uh, so a bit on there just to hold it in place and then that goes on top like so and what I would do now is because I'm me I will back stitch sorry back stitch <laughs> blanket stitch all around this you can actually back stitch it back stitching or blanket stitch whichever is your preference once that has been done then all you need to do it's like this one here you have to attach it to your piece and then over sew into place that's what's going to happen now i'm going to go all around these edges now there is a, a way you don't have to do this if you've got some of the really thick felt um you can get like a three millimeter felt or five millimeter felt even that way you won't need to do what i just did there um but because i haven't got any of the really thick felt apart from i've got this stiff felt but it's not going to be that's uh, the finish isn't going to be right let's put it that way and also the color's not i mean it kind of matches in but i i quite like the fact that i've got the same inner as the base so yeah round here stitch it and then on the bottom of your piece make sure i've got the heart the right way you kind of just lay it on top and then going around with an over sew just to sew it in place um, you can see that, that one's going to fit perfectly by the time i've done um, so instead of watching me put that together i'm going to go away stitch that and stitch it to here um, okay so here is the finished pot and this is what it looks like with all its embellishments and i forgot to mention as well you need to, you need to sew the side up before you put the bottom on i did clip it but then forgot to say that needs to be over sewn together um but that's it with the base on literally it's just over laid on top and over sewn so really simple so now i have two two pots and i'm liking them i might have to make some more <laughs> i've figured out lots of things that i can store in these so that's going to be what i'm going to do next anyway that's it for today if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to show me those thumbs show me your thumbs uh, like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content and don't forget once you subscribe click the bell uh, to get all the notifications of when i upload and then you can join the party <laughs> anyway that's it from me uh, have a great day and i'll be back here very soon with something else bye for now <laughs>